Hi guys, I know I've done this before but here's another quick tutorial on how I make my stamp tissue paper. You can tell by my hands that I've had quite a few mistakes today. I've been dyeing muslin for my Etsy shop and yeah, I got a bit close and forgot the gloves so but never mind. Okay, starting off, um, I'm going to use bundled sage distress ink. So now this is random. Just place it anywhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. Half a bit. Just around. I like these stamps. I've already cut this in half because you can bend it. So you don't have to have a big one. So you can just put bits and pieces and it doesn't really matter too much because it's a background stamp. So Oh, I better get some paper. Last time I wiped it on my clothes. Okay. Um, I might try this the Bow Bunny one. We'll get a bit of music happening. So I'm going to try Hickory Smoke. Probably upside down, I think. It's just mainly to get your background stamp up. Yeah, that looks good. Enough. Just a little bit down here. All right, so that's that one. Now I put a few of these typewriter numbers on three, five, four. Seven, eight, and eight. I'll just put them randomly on here. So you can put all of them at once or just a few. Some can be um, on, some can be off. Still a couple there, maybe a few there. All right, that was hmm, uh, peeled paint. Someone um, asked me all the colours the other day, so I thought, oh, God, I better start telling you what colours I use because it does help. I'm not really sure where these go, but never mind, that'll do for now. Okay, so we now might add maybe a few swells. These are, I don't even know, Inca Doos, these ones. So I'll try a small, you know, if we go orange, uh, orange zest, this is just stays on. So here and now, just a few bits. Right. So that's the orange zest. Now we might come in. Think with a few circles, so therefore we need the round, hmm, right, right, round. You just have to drop it because otherwise it gets too. Oh. It's just very light, just builds up your background. And then you can do, for the big part, you can do one of these. Now, these are your new Dina Wakely media stamps. And these are just awesome. So this is your vintage photo. Put her over here. So I, I'll put her on there. And then maybe just to give a bit of a... These are the Stampers Anonymous 
Grand Dames. So this will make you, as you know, I'm weird and I don't match. So how about we put her right in the middle? I don't believe in matching up or just I stamp and whatever happens, happens. So there's your sheet. Oh, it's very fine, isn't it? There's your sheet of tissue paper. You can put sayings on there and you can add to it and you can do all bits and pieces, colour it in or whatever, but that's um, that's what it looks like. So, And just to add a bit of fun, I think we might... This is a stampotic stamp. We'll just add these ones up here. That just adds a little bit more. That gives a little bit more fun, I think. So you've got an old severe lady, an old cranky lady. She looks like she's dead, but you know, hey. And some kids. So that's one piece. So I think I might start actually stamping these and selling these in the shop, in the Etsy shop, Wild Child Etsy. Wild Child Treasures Etsy. So I don't know about it yet. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.